Okay, I've got a about a five pound, six pound Angus ribeye roast. And I just hit it with some Lowry seasoned salt, some fresh ground pepper. That's about all you need. I'm gonna throw this on the barbecue. And I'm grinding some fresh horseradish here. Be sure to wear goggles when you do this. It will burn your eyes. Okay, this is your Weber kettle indirect setup. You've got charcoal on both sides of the grill. You got a drip pan in the middle to prevent fires. And this is essentially an oven. Now I'm going to put the lid on and uh, do some grill cleaning. Okay, I've got the roast in a pan to catch it for au jus drippings here. It's probed. I'm going to put this thing on with the vents wide open for about 10 minutes. Then I'm going to going to close the vents down to almost closed and then a slow roast it the rest of the way. And I'm not going to open this thing again until it hits 130 degrees. Alright, time to uh, narrow the vents here. I'm going to cool down this oven and slow roast it. It's going to take about a half hour for this to get down. So that's why I closing the vents 10 minutes into this. It'll sear for about a half hour. Okay, it's 130 degrees. Let's go check this thing out. All right. Through the miracle of time, this roast is done. Now we're gonna go take it in and rest it. And we'll slice it up. Okay, here's a nice pink slow roasted prime rib. As you can see, it's pink through all the way to the outside. This is what slow roasting does. Rib roast on the barbecue.